object is only as strong as its weakest point. The gentlest pressure in the wrong direction could cause imbalance, catastrophe, destruction. What was once a stable and sturdy foundation crumbles to sheer nothingness. As dancers, our very existence relentlessly fights the urge to collapse. We are fearless and terrified, dauntless and petrified, walking a fine line between earthbound and free. The only barrier of flight? Gravity. The energy of one effortless turn, mass times the vision of velocity squared at a radius no wider than circled arms. Porta bras, the seemingly effortless carriage of arms and steel lace, strength and delicacy. Centripetal force traps and contains energy bursting at the seams. Rotation, turning, spinning, flying, one, two, three. The security that we will not fall. Precision, alignment, zero angular momentum. Feline in nature, yet swan-like and free, always places our feet beneath us, solidly on the ground, pushing into the floor and the floor pressing back whispering and daring us to soar, to leap, to let our hearts carry us in the waves of a melodic symphony into the air. Higher, higher, yet, when we fall, we fall with twice the speed it took our souls to lift us up. We are only ever in the air half as long as the music demands we be. The gravitational force on the body, weight, pressure, the caring and kind touch of the universe holds us soundly to the earth, begging that we keep our feet planted in the firm embrace of solid ground. But we are music. We are art. We are dancers. But sometimes the laws of physics do not apply. Therefore, in essence, we are infinitely weightless.